Hello? Can you guys hear me? Because this is a new, brand new headset that I saved up for my tip money. And I got it mainly because my other headset didn't fucking show any of my emotions. It just made me sound fucking depressed all the time. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't realize that until I started watching my own videos. I was like, no, I don't want to sound depressed. I want to sound like an insane idiot. <laughs> Yes, lady. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. Now, let's see. Which facility should I go to? Because apparently I have four. I have four facilities, which is the O5 Council's big mistake. They should have not given me one, to be honest. <laughs> hmm. Let's go with this one. Sharing is caring. A favor might be returned. <laughs> no, I refuse. I refuse to share with random people, friends and family only. Also, I do have a question for people watching. Is my voice better than before or the same? Oh. Oh, good. I'm dead. As soon as I enter, I'm dead. That's the, that, that, That's good to know. I just appear like, hello, instant death. <laughs> oh, that, that sounds nice. Oh, gosh, lag. Can I, can I have that gun? Can I please have that gun? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Lazy. For some reason, my other headset it just made me like really deep voice and um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but um. Yeah, you're dead. But um, made me really deep voice and didn't give me any um emotions whatsoever. I noticed in the Outlast video. The last stream, uh, you could actually tell I was actually being scared instead of being depressed. I was like, what the f Okay, then. So I know it's my headset and not my computer. <laughs> so, yes, I have a new headset. And hopefully, you'll be able to tell different emotions. <laughs> also, it made my voice deeper but mine is like more of a higher pitch so yeah that makes no sense <laughs> but yeah all right let's see if i can find a screen where people are being murdered murder no no murder Nope. No. Dang, where's all the murder? Okay, there we go. There's the murder. Yes, there we go. Oh. 
I think that was a bit overkill, but okay. <laughs> well then. No, all five key cards are the only path to freedom. Only path. Don't tell me what to do, game. I know what to do. Just make random noises. I'm a facility guard. <gasps> I have a gun. That's a huge mistake on their part. They gave me a gun. Hello, D class. Where are you? I want to murder you. I mean, uh, save you. Yes, save. Totally save. Hmm. Oh, can't go in there. Damn it. I tried. Jesus. Where the fuck do I go? There's no entertainment here. I need to kill something to make entertainment and content. Where oh gosh like Where is content? The only I'm just going in circles. I'm legit back where I spawned. Went that way. Maybe this way? Why is everything a labyrinth? Yeah, sting it. Oh, wait. Hey, new area. Finally. Time to do some murder. Fuck. Oh, wait. I have a key card. Aha. I don't see any murder, nor do I see anyone I can murder. 
Now I am upset, because now I want to murder. Oh, I should not be here. I should be far away from here. Larry's gonna get me if I stay here. Oh. Hi. Jeez, as soon as I go near these people, I lag like shit. Oh. Where are we going? Are we going to go do some murder? Oh, that sounds so lovely. Sounds of explosions. Does it say Outlast? Does it legit say Outlast? Oh my god. I did Outlast last night. I think it decided to freaking just put Outlast again after I told it not to. Oh, Jesus. I have the power to destroy doors, apparently. I'll fix that probably after stream, because it should not be saying Outlast. I don't know why it's saying Outlast. Oh no. Wait, what? Does anyone know who Dragon X one seven five eight is? Yeah. Just follow the others so I can sacrifice them. So I can live. I must have my sacrifices.
I am so very glad I have this muted on stream. They are saying so many things that will get me banned. I am so glad I have this muted. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of here. There's a reason why I mute this game, Lazy, because I cannot control what they say. <laughs> or do. <laughs> this is actually surprising. This is the longest I've ever lived in this game. Oh, gosh dang it. Wall. I like how all the guards are just stand on on top and everything is going to shit below us. <laughs> Everyone who can protect the people below us is up here. <laughs> Oh gosh, murder! This is SCP Laboratory. It's an SCP game. Oh no. Yeah, and it is multiplayer. Yeah. Other people can join. You bitch! <laughs> you left me behind, assholes. Who's shooting me? You bitch! <laughs> you closed the can door again, you fucker! Run, 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 run. Let me in. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Shit. Well, I'm dead.
Alrighty then. Alright. Oh. Oh. Surprise! Oh. Murder him! I like how there's two people. One is named Nobody Cares About Your Opinion and Wait, It's Comically Large Spoon. <laughs> oh, I mean, that works. Oh my gosh, did he just lock them in there? I would like it if the person would stop uh, making fart sounds. It's starting to get annoying. Gosh fucking damn. SCPs won. Yes, SCPs win after two or two out of two were terminated. Makes sense. I am the tutorial. You must all obey me and listen to everything I say, or I'll kill all of you. Damn it. Fuck. I'm a silly car. Wait, I just realized I had the Q key so all of them heard what I said. <laughs> I'm at the W key. Oh no. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. Obey me, foolish mortal. I am immortal. Where are you? Where are you going?
Don't you know that in Minecraft I am the food god, so you must obey me. I hear a 096 and I'm not gonna look at it. Well then, I just realized my other headset runs on batteries. <laughs> well, not batteries, mainly it has a battery. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You guys, all right. It's now charging inside my computer while I'm recording. That's fine. Now I learned that to always charge the new headset before using it. <laughs> hmm. Gosh, he's ugly. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, if everyone on stream sees 096's face, we're all basically dead. Well then. Nice knowing you. Well then, a lot of people are dying. Jesus. Oh. Alright. Time to do murder. Oh. Patron. Okay. I don't care, I just want to murder. Where's, where's the people so I can murder her? <laughs> Damn. Making HR jokes. Oh, we have an army for murdering. Wow. 
Where's the murder? Wait. Hold up. Gosh dang it, I just realized. Hold on. I just realized the game wasn't projecting. Well, I'm very much dead. Oh. The fix sinks. Yes, it's there. It's here. You stupid freaking. Why are you like this? Hello? Ah! Yes! Oh! I have no idea why I cut off. Also, how am I not dead? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Die! Fuck. Of course. I'll go in exactly an area to die. That's perfect. Well, I guess I'll do what I always do when I'm dead, and that is to read something. Like SCP particularly. I swear, if I get revived as soon as I start reading, I'll be pissed. Oh. Oh, he dead. <clears throat> All right. Dr. Clef's Proposal, SCP-001, Object Class Euclid uh, slash Keter. Easy, okay. Special Containment Procedures. Because of the natural uh, nature of SCP-001, no containment procedures are necessary. 24-7. Gosh fucking damn it, I freaking called it. As soon as I started reading, I was going to get revived. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Man. Wait, no, that's the way out for D-Class. Never mind. Wrong way. Shit. Yes. Get an elevator. Thank you. I, I have a feeling I'm going to die immediately. Oh. Huh. Oh, hi. Uh 
Uh oh. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Yep. She's on my body. <laughs> Jesus. There we go. Oh my gosh, I almost freaking killed him. Well, I guess I can finish reading what I was gonna read. Before I was rudely interrupted by my game. <laughs> Twenty-four-seven monitoring of SCP-001 is to take place from a safe uh, ten-kilometer plus di distance from predetermined location, Site Zero. The location of Site Zero is known only to the current SCP administrator and a single overseer level agent of uh, Afrohimic Faith O5-14, assigned to monitor SCP-001 from Site Zero. Said agent is authorized to take action necessary should SCP-001 become active, and is required to immediately alert administrator, the administrator and all other overseer level agents should SCP-001 show any change in behavior. As this may constitute the beginning of a path of, path at most XK class end of the world scenario. Oh, are you kidding me? Immediately. Oh, I'm still dead. Okay, that's fine. Should SCP-001 become active in any way, personnel are required to consult the Patmos series of emerging orders. Decoding algorithms for emergency order Patmos are to be maintained on site at at Site Zero, in a possession of a designated observer. Oh, good, he's dead. Fuck Q096. Hold on, for some reason I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. Hello? Gosh dang it, can people stop scam calling me? I'm getting sick of it. Rush Nugget. It's nice here. The designated observer and are to be transmitted to SCP Foundation offices only in the event of SCP-001 becoming active. Foundation personnel with a, with vital roles in one or more variants of emergency procedure Patmos are to be advised to take the following precautions: to make maintain good relations with one or more organized Arabic uh, Arabic faiths. To maintain on hand a supply of the following. Oh, hi, Lilith. A supply of the following: holy water, a rosary, a crucifix, cross, player, prayer rug, or other symbol blessed by the uh, Abrahamic cleric of bishop or equivalent higher rank. A copy of Abrahamic sculpture, scriptures, for a Bible, Quran, and a standard emergency supplies uh, in mobile form. A bug out bag. In the case of a rapture scenario, all vital per, uh, personnel are to be de designated a secondary operative of non-Abrahamic faith. Said secondary operative is to be informed of the location of a primary designate copy of emer emergency procedure Patmos. Um, hello, I guess. Uh, to whoever said that in game. Okay. <laughs> Alright, hold on, let's see what kind of mercy press your Patmos and metric kill agent. 
uh, agent uh, inoculant and is to be kept on ready status to take over the primary duties as necessary. To maintain familiarity with all other SCPs involved in possible Patmos SK class end of the world scenarios. Hmm. Um, at the current, I'm just, oh, I realize he's dead. I'm just, um, since I'm dead in this game, I'm just reading off an SCP. And this is an SCP game. Oh. Interesting. Alright. Oh, come. Well, I guess I'll keep reading until I get pulled in again. Description. SCP-001 is a humanoid entity approximately 700 cubits in height located in an undisclosed location near the inter intersection of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers. The following features are known about the entity. A number of luminous wings like appendages emerging from the soldier's back, temples, ankles, and wrists of the entity, although an accurate count has never been established. Most observers place the numbers of wings anywhere from 2 through 108, with the mean number being 4. A weapon, possibly a sword or knife, SCP-001-2, the weapon appears to emit flames at a temperature rivaling of that of the sun, based on a spectrographic analysis, although there, there appeared to be no destructive effects from the intense heat on the surrounding area. Any entity that approaches within one kilometer of SCP-001 is immediately struck by the weapon and obliterated from existence. Any and all hostile actions taken towards SCP-001 have resulted in the annihilation of the attacker, attacker regardless of range. I have. Oh, I'm still dead. Well, thank you, game. Thank you for immediately killing me. <laughs> All right. All right. SCP-001 appears to be standing with its head bowed and an adjuster of supplication with SCP-001. 1-2 held in both hands point down in front of it, since originally recorded by the founder over redacted years ago. SCP-001 has not deviated from this stance. Human beings exposed to SCP-001 report hearing a voice in their heads, giving them, the them a directive which the subject reports cannot be disobeyed. Most most common directive is forget, which results in the subject walking away from SCP-001 with no memory of having encountered it. On rare occasions, uh, however, other directives have been given. The most fa famous of these is the one given to the founder, prepare, which she's claimed formed the impetus for founding redacted to catalog and contain any and all supernatural and or paranormal artifacts that represent a serious threat to the current existence of humanity. This is the organization now known as the SCP Foundation. Observers have reported that SCP-001 appears to be standing in front of, the, front of a gate with of immense proportion, proportions. L large range photographs have occasionally detected uh, what appears to be a pastoral grove within, containing numerous other entities of the same composition as SCP-001, as well as several fruit trees of unknown composition. Of particular note are two fruit trees of immense propor proportion near what appears to be the center of the grove. One is noted appears to be an ordinary apple tree, although the other bears a fruit unknown on Earth described as redacted. It is the avowed belief of the founder that the gate which SCP-001 guards may be the gate to expunge, based on the cor correlations with ancient Babylonian texts and the Dead Sea Scrolls, in which case 
one can deduce that the entity known as SCP-001 may be expunged. Addendum 001-A, Experimentation, SCP-001-2's Effect, VE Kill Range. Experiment A, 1D class personnel instructed to approach SCP-001 as closely as possible on foot. Result, upon making visual contact with SCP-001, subject is ordered to leave. Ooh. Subject immediately turns away from the entity and walks away, despite repeated orders to continue the experiment. Class C personnel refuse, refuses to obey and is terminated. Upon termination of Class C personnel, all research staff involved are immediately obliterated by an unknown force, presumably SCP-001-2. Oh shit. I just realized that guy was dead. Experiment B. One remote operated research robot guided to approach SCP-001 from the ground. Upon approaching within one kilometer of SCP-001, research robot was obliterated presumably by SCP-001-2. Oh gosh, dang it. Alright, time to murder. I have to murder now. Trying to give me the yawns again. <laughs> hey, I can't help but yawn. That's how I will win my war, Lilith. By making you yawn. Not very effective, but it works. <laughs> Alright. Where do we do the murder? I need to know where to do the murder. I have work, I can't be sleeping. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not going down there. Yeah, bitch. That's that's what you get. Fuck you. Oh fuck. Um, I'm very well dead. Wait, what? Hold up. I'm alive. Okay. I I survived. I survived 106. That's it's very well in person. Oh, hello. Hello. The reload. <laughs> I accidentally killed the guy. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Aha! Fuck you, Larry! I'm out of here! I'll just kill whoever gets on from here! <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Well, that, that just looks nice. I mean, I found a great hidey spot. What's this? Oh, 
Uh-uh. No. You will open for me. What did I just get? What is this? Yes! I have healed! For me now, motherfuckers. I'll come down and murder you. I'm most likely gonna instantly die. Okay, I still don't have permission. Fuck you then. I have no idea where to go. What's this? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, they already took it, the bastards. They already took the most OP weapons. Yeah, I was about to. Re Usually, I read more about the SCP when. When I die. Oh. Well, that works. <laughs> now I can finish reading about it. And then I'll talk more about it when, once I'm done reading it. Alrighty. Alright. All further attempts at, at remote re uh, reconnaissance have the same result. Experiment C. 100%. Uh, Pre-programmed research drones instructed to approach SCP-001 from multiple angles simultaneously. Result coronation was successful, and all 100 drones crossed within one kilometer, uh, kilometer mark simultaneously. However, all 100 are simultaneously obliterated by SCP-001-2. The extended observer at Site-0 reports that SCP-001-2... I know, Lazy's perfect timing. <laughs> They say, uh, here, they say a server at site zero reports that all, that SCP-001-2 appeared to strike in all directions at once. SCP-001 did not deviate from its stance while this took place. Experiment D, wired guided missile fired from a distance of three uh, kilometers. Result, SCP-001 01-2 obliterates weapon upon crossing the one commander mark, simultaneously burning a launch site and killing all personnel. Experiment E. Multi-warhead intercontinental ballistic missile fired from the SCP nuclear submarine Nautilus. Result? Oh no. See Indian ex Ocean Missile Experiment. Oh no. They instantly got obliterated. Well, damn. Experiment F, SCP-076 and Tax Force Omega-7 instructed to approach SCP-001 on foot. Result, SCP-076 refuses to carry out mission despite not being informed of the mission's nature. Upon being asked why 076 uh, prize, no, just no. Experiment G, SCP-073, due to the results of Experiment F, SCP-073 was not informed of his destination while arriving at Site-0. 
Result, SCP-073 approached the site on foot upon seeing SCP-001. SCP-073 became distressed and asked for to abort. SCP-073 was ordered to continue. At this point, the symbol on SCP-073's forehead became data expunged. Experiment was terminated due to data expunge. See Addendum 001-AA. Addendum 001-AA. By executive order of the administrator, no further experiments are to be to carry out. Re SCP-001. No further SCPs are to be exposed to SCP-001. SCP-001 is not to be used, disposed of dangerous SCPs. Please see revised containment procedure for details. Gosh fucking damn it. Wait, who's in a car? Who's in the car? <laughs> well, bye then. Wait, can I... Can I shoot my friends? No, it doesn't work. Fuck. Oh. Oh, he did. Wait, you can kill your fellow people. Whoa, we can't, we can't open the door. Oh. I'm going as well as murder my fellow friends while I'm waiting. Oh. Oh, he's on our side. Why is no one coming to murder? I want to murder. Oh, jeez. Murder time. Where do these zombies come from? There's too many. Your zombie army's not matched for my immortal army, motherfuckers. You can try, but you'll die. Damn it. Oh, SCP-049 was the one who killed me. <laughs> oh, gosh dang it, as soon as I was about to read. Murder! Murder! Fuck. All right, see you, Lilith. All right. And now, addendum on blank. The following errant transmission was received by Foundation personnel. Initiate emergency procedure, procedure Patmos Omega. Attention all Foundation personnel. The following message was received by at approximately redacted this morning from Site Zero. SCP-001 has left its location. The gate is open. They are riding forth. Oh gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh, jeez. I can't even read that, but okay. Because of the event uh, confluence with the recent breach of SCP-9995, and the opening of SCP-616 and the abbreviation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin the preparations for an XK-class end-of-the-world scenario. SCP-076 and SCP-073 are to be secured immediately. All Foundation personnel are to unlock and decode emergency order Patmos Omega and follow all orders within. Site-19 is to be secured and all non-central SCPs and personnel ter terminated and or destroyed. 
repeat because of this event's confluence with the, with the recent breach of SCP-995, the opening of SCP-616, an abbreviation of SCP-098, the Foundation is required to immediately begin preparations for an XK class end of the world scenario. Gosh dang it. Oh, of course, I'm, I'm the, alright. I am the king of all D-class personnel. Do my bidding. Do my bidding, D-class. Yes, go there and die, D-class. That's fine. <laughs> Are you fuckers? Wait. Why can't I? I'm trapped. Thank you. Oh, you bitch. Yes, I'm, I'm free. Yes. Oh, go in, go in here, go in here. I didn't even look at him. Well then, SCP-09, uh, 076 and SCP-073 are to be stored immediately. All personnel are to be unblocked in the code. Uh, emergency order Patmos Omega and followed orders within. Site 19 is to be secured and on. All non-essential SCPs. Oh, I was looking at that. What the frick? Essential SCPs and personal terminated and or destroyed. Repeat because the offense kind of blah blah blah. It's just repeating itself over. Hold on. All right. All right. Refreshing X can. SCP-076 and, and SCP-073 at at re to be secured immediately, can enable my two sons. I am coming. All personnel are to unlock and decode. Behold, I stand at the gate and knock. If uh, any, any, I've blah, 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 blah. signal lost. Upon contacting site zero at 05-14 responded that no such message has been sent from his location and that SCP-001 remained inert. The transmission was initially determined to be a host. However, a close examination of the transmission reveals that a timestamp dated redacted years in the future. It is theorized that redacted. Oh, he's dead. And for people wondering what that SCP is, that was the Gate Guardian, the most known SCP-001. It is just, and technically it's been theorized that it's been guarding the Gate of Eden, and that it's, and it's the angel and the flaming sword that God sent down that guarded the Gate of Eden from Adam and Eve. That's basically what is theorized. Jeez, he killed a lot of people. Wait, he can't get out now. That was stupid. Well, that was fast. I think the server <laughs> messed up. Because <laughs> I was about to be a 9,000 <laughs> SCP's 1.
<laughs> so does anyone in chat have any questions about the Gate Guardian that I might be able to answer? I am back to being the tutorial god. You must all obey me and do as I say. You must you must all sacrifice yourselves. Oh damn it. I wasn't quick enough. Well, I'm back to having a gun. I shall find everyone and murder them. Oh, gosh, under construction? Got it. Oh, Jesus, all right. No. I don't believe that's the way I need to go. No, that's the spawning room. Hey, here we go. Thank you. Anyway, no, it is not. Well, that sounds like a nice noise of 939. I'll go follow it. Perfectly fine. Wait, how is he already up here? Also, where the fuck do I go? This place is a fucking maze. No, that's where I need to bring scientists. This is promising. But now it doesn't look promising. Fuck. Damn it. Cause of death. Starvation, because I couldn't find a damn cafeteria. Oh my gosh, I found it. Thank. Fuck. Oh shit. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. That didn't freaking take long. <laughs> What? Okay.
All right, it's time for more murder. Time to murder. I gotta get my revenge on 106. Also known as Larry. Don't ask. <laughs> We're dead. <laughs> I had to do that. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Well, this is boring. Surprise, motherfucker. That is weird that people are helping the SCPs win, but okay. Hmm. 
<sighs> well, since I'm bored, I'm gonna read another SCP. QNTM's proposal. SCP-001, object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-001 is to be kept locked along with all data per pertaining to it inside the primary archival vault on sub-level 1 on s of Site 10. The vault is custom manufactured reinforced concrete and steel vertically octagon prism with a 2,000 kilogram 0 0.9 meter thick time locked access portal in the ceiling. Time locking schedule should be classified and available only to Dr. Y. Mersky. Access to con uh, is conditional on three factor authentication key card, fingerprint, and passphrase. SCP 001 is among the safest artifacts in the Foundation's possession. And, and these measures are primarily intended to prevent theft. Description. SCP-001 is a smooth, black, perfectly ellipsoidal onyx gemstone with a, a mottled white pattern wrapped around its ex exterior, com encompassing its inquiter and both poles. It, it is, is a complex and layered fractal filigree of gold metal. The gold is sculpted into broad, broad strokes of what is now usually agreed to be the lower or south pole of the object. Both the increasing latitude, the pattern becomes progressively more intricate near the north pole, also known as the lock or singularity. The pattern complexity progresses beyond the capability of optical or electron beam microscopes to resolve. Further investigation is pending advances in microscopic technology. I'm gonna start right now. Yes, I am the tutorial god. You must all listen to me. I am the tutorial god. You must all sacrifice yourselves to me. Oh. Yes.
I have no idea. Okay, then. I am on a huge killing spree. I'll murder you with the last of my health. All right, now I'm going to finish doing my reading. <sighs> the gemstone continuously emits a small quantity of thermal radiation in the microwave range as a result of the gold filigree is warm to, be, to the touch. The white molted areas emit fractionally more radiation than the black onyx areas. Other than this, SCP-001 is totally inert. It is opaque to all forms of electromagnetic and hard radiation and so far indestructible. Its onyx slash gold composition is guessed from visual inspection since the taking of samples for ke chemical analysis has uh, proven impossible. Project Pluto Master Law. The following experiments had failed to open SP001. Conventional lock picking, brute force assault with hammer, chisel, sledgehammer, bolt cutters, wedding torch, bandsaw, etc. Sustained heating to 5,000 degrees uh, centigrade and in industrial furnace. Direct application of industrial cutting laser. Composition in vice car crusher hydraulic diamond uh, face press. Application of corrosive acids and other highly oxidizing compounds. Detonation of plastic and solid explosives up to 0.5 KT TNT equivalent at point blank range. Detonation of 15 KT TNT equivalent atomic warhead at point blank range. No effect. Project Pluto is ongoing with the full support of Foundation Resources. Dr. Mirasaki. I mean, not Mirosaki, Mirsky.
SCP-001 Acquisition Report. The earliest record of SCP-001 is the handwritten journal of the minor Scottish aristocrat Sir Edwin Young, third, uh, third baronet. As, as was customary at the time, Young kept a cabinet of curiosities, a small room of artifacts of determined provenance such as sculptures, preserved creatures, and trinkets. Young's journal includes references to his acquisition in 1654 of iron, iron bound jewel of onyx and filigree gold of uh, finales beyond rectional uh, tinctment. While traveling across the Mesopotamian desert, the journal indicates that SCP-001 was found buried in the ruin of a bitter, blasted place, other older than days, or what Young took to be the temple to a fair foam death god. Jeez. SCP-001 was found encased in stone at the center of the four numerous runic stones. Young journal, Young's journal includes a sketch of the most readable side of, of the most well-preserved uh, stone, but he, he was unable to read the runes or find a scholar who could translate them. Young's account of, of his journey and location of the rune is incomplete. It has not yet been located. Young's election of curious provenance lay in the storage for several centuries after he died. In 1805, his descendants donated SCP-001 to Scottish National Museum in Edinburgh. The curators of the museum regarded SCP-001 as an ancient, fragile, and priceless example of ancient Sumerian metalworking. They therefore failed to uncover the anomalous warmth, its indestructibility, or its impossible microscopic scale construction. They were, however, able to identify the runes in Young's sketch as Territory Sumerian cuneiform, circa uh, 3400 3, BCE. Only a partial translation is possible. With the loss and blank, we slash I blank a pact on, on this ending uh, finality redacted Joy plus permanence. Mr. Ken Candlish, who performed this translation, noted, This appears to be some sort of inc incantation or spell of containment. Affect is the name of whatever is imprisoned within the gemstone. Yeah. SCP-001 is finally placed on semi-permanent display in, in 1949. In 2003, Foundation staff observed the molted white patterns on the surface of SCP-001, resembled the cosmic microwave background, a pattern of microwaves encompassing the entire observable universe as mapped by NASA's Wilkinson's Microwave Anthrosotrophy Probe. Closer inspection showed the two patterns to be identical. SCP-001 
I will try it out again. Oh, am I not dead? I don't know why it timed out. That's freaking stupid. Alright. Where must the food god get uh, all of his stuff? You door. <laughs> Fucking hell, that scared the shit out of me! <laughs> Jesus, where did you come from? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ah. There's nothing of use in here. Oh boy. Okay, did the chat disconnect? Sorry. Fuck.
I just re okay. Because I got like a second message saying, "Hey, w welcome to the chat room." I was like, "What?" Fine. Right. Hello, lazy. I guess you. All right. Technically, this one, all right, which is SCP-001, codename Bright. Obviously, you know who who posted this one. This is actually a story, not like one of the other SCPs. It's actually a story. So this is going to get interesting. SCP-001 is an O5 tale. Good evening, Doctor. No, no, don't stand up. And yes, I am who you think I am. Let's not make any more of this than it is. You know my number, and I know e enough about you to make this stupid that even your mother wouldn't be able to tell apart from you, the real you. No, that's not a threat, just a fact. Now, as to my business here, it seems that you have stumbled upon something above your clearance. Well, no, stumble is not the right word. Dug up, perhaps? And you are getting to the point where further digging would end in, in some fairly lethal gunshot wounds. This would be a sad state of affairs, as you are otherwise quite a good researcher. Therefore, you are getting something that very few people in the Foundation... Oh gosh dang it! Stop that. Stop that Twitch. Uh, therefore... Oh come on! I wanted to read the SCP story. Jesus. Gosh dang it, why does everyone have to do it in ear rape? Please, stop. Oh, my ears, my sweet ears. Oh, my ears. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be a dick. I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> yes, I had to. I took someone with me. Oh. Therefore, you are getting something very few people in the Foundation ever get. An explanation. Yes, you will be alerted when you first start digging into SCP-001. Every researcher who's been around for a while looks into it. Most are satisfied when they uncover the angel with the flaming sword. It's buried under enough levels, but then you started looking into the factory. And that is when I knew you wouldn't stop. So here it is, plain and simple. The factory is SCP-001. But it will never be written up. It was a choice I made early on in the creation of Foundation. And a choice I still stand by. You researchers are far too curious. And I'm not sure which scares me worse. Which scares me worse. That we will never understand the factory, or that one day will, or that we will one day. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure you're eager to learn more. The factory was built in 1835. Back then, it was known as the Anderson Factory, named after James Anderson, a rather well-to-do industrialist. It was built in, well, let's just say America, and it was the largest factory yet de designed. A good mile across at its widest, three stories tall throughout, 
with a special seven-story tower by the front gate that Anderson lived in. It was designed to be the ultimate factory, capable of taking care of everything, including the housing of workers. People could be born, work, live, and die without ever leaving the confines of the factory. And work they did on everything from cattle raising to, and slaughtering to textiles to everything else under the sun. Now, no one knows whether James Anderson was actually a Satan wor worshiper. It's... It's just that it's likely that he followed some kind of the pagan gods. What is known is that he was very exact in the building of his factory, and in the placement of his machinery within it. Survivors claim the floor was engraved with arcane symbols that were only visible when blood flowed across them. But then survivors claimed a lot of things. What is known is that Anderson made his money on the blood and sweat and sometimes body parts of the lower class. His journals indicate he thought of them as less than human, being put on earth only to serve his will. Of course, at that time, no one knew about the, uh, the like elections, and so people flocked to the factory, a place to both work and live at the same time. Well, of course people wanted in. Oh, come on. Wait, I'm tutorial? I'm the tutorial god! I am the tutorial god. Murder. I am tutorial god. Bow before me. Dang it, I thought that was a bomb. I, w I wanted to kill so many people right there. That would have been perfect. <sighs> oh. That's right, I forgot. We're friends with SCPs. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I will fall 4-9. I will protect him. Why am I looking at you and it says tutorial, Dr. Bright? I am the great Dr. Bright, you motherfucker. How dare you take my name? How dare you take my name? Who dares shoot me? I must protect 049 with my life for some reason. I have no idea where I'm going.
Oh, I'm dead. Well, that works. I can finish the story now. Never mind the harsh hours. Uh, harsh hours. Working conditions, sadistic, uh, sadistic, uh, security force, and all the rest. F factory workers were forced to work 16 hour days, work only shutting down on, on Sundays, between sunrise and sunset. Workers were not given individual rooms, instead sharing rooms with eight other people, with eight other people, uh, sleeping in shifts of three. Medical attention was unheard of. If you are injured in the course of your duties, which most people were, you are expected to just keep working. Anyone too injured to work was dragged off by security and never heard from again. For 40 years, the Anderson factory cracked out all sorts of things for people. Meat, clothes, weapons, never mind the beef might be mixed with human. Don't care that the weapons were forged in blood. No attention needed to be paid that the clothes were dyed with. Well, you get the idea. Rumors leaked out, but the products were so good, why bother? Until someone got out. I never met the brave soul who managed to escape, but she managed to meet the President Grant, and in 1875, he, he enlisted my aid. At the time, I was, well, it doesn't matter. Well. We'll say I was m military, kind of, and that my people were the same. A hundred and fifty good men and some few women who were often given jobs that weren't supposed to be common knowledge. We'd been cleaning out some Confederate holdouts and some of the worst things we found down south. So we did some re research, didn't like what we saw, and went in loaded for bear. I don't actually remember much about the night. It all went down. Most of the of it blends together in my head. I get flashes sometimes of the people chained to the line, living next to the dead, and and damned hard to tell which was which. Children working underneath machines, the majority of flesh scoured from their bones by the great wheel, and dogs and other things. Or at least I finished the paragraph. <laughs> Don't worry. I know it's. I know parts of the story, but not the full one. It gets really disturbing. 
I'm too fast for you, Gate. That's the second time that I was killed or said I was flying. Jesus, not fair. Jeez, why is everyone in the dark? Oh, no, 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 Twitch, Twitch. Twitch, thank you. Gotta find where our last. There it is. No, I'm all right. I haven't thought about that night for a very long time. The security force wasn't much of a problem, but then Anderson's creations showed up. He'd been taking the injured workers, and well... <laughs> I'm too powerful, yeah. <laughs> and well, experimenting on them. Men, if you could call them men, with multiple arms sewn together, with some of the combine with animals, horrible monstrosities, out of mankind's worst nightmares, they kept coming wave after wave of not quite living creatures. I lost a lot of good people that night. And then we found Anderson's breeding pits. Girls as young as eight chained to walls forced to be nothing more than... Well, you get the idea. I'm sorry. Even today, more than a century later, the memory makes me see red. When we found Anderson cowering in his office, we hung him from his tower window with his own entrails. As he died, he laughed, saying it wouldn't, it didn't matter. We could kill him, but his factory, the factory would go on. Oh, come on, Twitch. Twitch, stop it. But the fact, but the factory will go on. 
he was still laughing 24 hours later when we finally cut him down. We had him drawn and quartered and then burned the remains. The entire time he uttered blasphemies that I don't like to think about. We spent a week cleaning that place out, freeing the workers, putting down the things we found in the basement. In many lightless rooms, we pulled out things that were useful. Stocked them in a house near the gate, tried to make sense of everything. 150 of us went into that hell pit that night, and only 93 came out. By the end of that week, we were down to 71. But the things we found in there, my god. Well, you've... You've been with the Foundation a while. They wouldn't seem as amazing to you, but we found toy guns that shot real bullets. A, a yo-yo that would fr flay the skin f with anyone it touched. Hammers that only worked on human flesh. I'll, I'll continue reading after I die. Oh, wait. No, not that. Time to do what I always wanted to do. Oh, you dicks. Yes. Unlock the door. We must go in. We must go in. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, I did it. I did it. My gosh, I did it. A breed of skeletal horse that ran faster than anything we've, we'd ever seen. Cloaks that seemed woven from the night itself and let men access a shadowy dimension that I get away from myself. We found tools both wondrous and horrible, and we were faced with a choice. I gather my highest ranking, well, we'll call them officers to me, and we try to figure out what we w would do. They all had opinions. The cha chaplain, he had gone a little crazed, thought all these objects must be miracles sent from God, holy re relics to be worshipped. Marshall and his little toady Dawkins uh, thought they were there was a fortune to be made here, making and selling the, these things to the highest bidder. The engine we all called Bass, due, due to his deep speaking voice, he called these things an abomination and declared that we should uh, should hunt them down and destroy everything we could find. And Smith thought that we should take the stuff back to the president. The only one without an opinion was the old man, but he never said much of anything anyways. We argued for hours, days, trying to figure it out. Me, I thought we were sitting on a gold mine, all right, but that we could use these things, these objects, to hunt down some of the scary things we'd run down, we run into south. The other monsters this world had to offer and use this factory for good. As a place to contain these things, find a way to make them work out, work for our fellow man, or at least protect our fellow man from having to deal with them. I'm sure you can figure out what happened. The chaplains snuck away into the night and his devotees, taking a couple of small items with them. Marshall, we kicked out when we found him abusing his authority. He promised he'd get revenge, and that little Dawkins shit led the rest of their group off with some of the juicer, juicier items. Bass and his people tried to light the whole damn thing on fire, then just left when it didn't work. And Smith left to report back to the president. I did manage to get him to promise he, he'd tell Grant the factory had been destroyed. I had big plans for that place. Ah, of course. It was kind of hard to follow through to on big plans when you only ha have 12 other people to work with. But it was a start. And it worked for a while. We had these amazing toys and finding people to work with us was easy. Back then, going off the grid was as simple as leaving town. 
We knew what we wanted. We knew what we could be. Laventhal well, set out getting us backing, a simple invention here, some invested money there. It all worked out. Jeez, there's a lot of shooting. <laughs> that guy was going like, oh, buddy, buddy, hey, how's it going? And I just shoot at him. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. <laughs> I don't want to die because I want to read more of that story. Oh, that's okay. That's. Oh, we can't kill each other. Oh, no, I was killed by someone. All right. Why didn't Jones set out getting us other backing? In our previous work, we found out some interesting things about people. Some secrets that powerful men didn't want getting out. And with our new precision at helping keep secrets, we got more people access to deal with their secrets. Blackmail is a dirty word, but it works. Bright got to work cataloging the items. Light and Bright's wife, the nurse, they made sure... We kept ourselves healthy. <laughs> no, it's just remembering light. She had such unusual ideas about hygiene for the time. Brilliant woman. A brilliant woman. Sazov, no, Flesher, and Karnov dealt with training the troops. Tesla and Tamlin were in charge of figuring out how to take advantage of the items without making it obvious. We were amazing. The city we built around a factory, which we took took to call in Site Alpha, was self-supporting agents, researchers, operatives of all sorts. Not by those names, of course, but those positions we we expanded. Wait, what? What? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What about a user being offensive?
Are you talking about the story, SCP story for zero uh, zero one, or um uh, someone in chat? Oh. oh shit. All right. Well, I do not want to be banned. Thank you, Dix, because I did not notice it. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to switch to a new one. Let's go with the one of zero. Yeah. I did not read usernames. Usually I just click off <laughs> and start spectating. But yeah, I did not notice that. I'll probably download this and then cut that out. Or... Find a way to cut that out of editing software. Oh, I am by myself. Oh, two play. Oh, two players. Hey, we got two players. I am the tutorial. I am your god. You will listen to me. Hello. What did he? What? Spam Junior? What? Oh, I am D class. I have a feeling I'm going to die immediately. Let's see. Go this way, maybe? Jesus. This whole place is a maze. Fuck. Gosh, dang it. Okay, so not that way. Try this way. I'm most likely going to die. Uh, nope, that's a dead end. Crap is that thing? Okay. Oh, it's SCP 420J. Okay. Gosh dang it, where's the freaking exit? Oh, I found the exit. Fuck. And I forgot I don't have a key card. I got a coin. You're not sure why you carry this around. <laughs> and have you never heard of a lucky penny? I mean, at the quarter, but still, it could be lucky. I am very much not liking that noise. No. No one's home. You can fuck off. Okay, who's opening doors? Interesting. And I found another way out. <laughs> I'm literally going to die. 
I don't have a damn key card. Why is there a key card in your key card? I am fucked. I am fucked. Your key card? No, you're not. Uh oh. Fuck, 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 fuck. If I don't move, he can't see me. Ah, uh, bitch, I'm out of here. Come out, bitch. Oh, fuck, I'm back where I spawned. I wonder if there's a key card on here. One of these desks. <gasps> yes, I was correct. Take it. Take it. Take the key card. Now let's get the fuck out of here. Now let's Oh, no, no, no. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Why can I not see? Now I just have to find the damn exit. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yes, there it is. I'm free. No, 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 I was so close. There's no way I'm going to live. I don't have any time left. I still have to find 914. I a better key card, apparently. Yeah, I'm fucked. I'm dead. I'm just playing dead. Wait, so if I die, that means they instantly win. I might as well just go back and wait at the door. Where the hell am I going? Well, I can wait in here. That's fine. Now I can continue reading. 
You'll probably die immediately. I'm sorry. I am an old man. I know I don't not look like it. But the body lies. The mind doesn't always remember right. And sometimes I get lost in my memories. Things get confused. But the long and simple of it is this. We use the factory. It always seemed to, to have more empty rooms to store things in. Back then, that was the word for them. Things. No skips, then no. We thought we had the factory cane. That's one of the reasons I refused to quit this job. If there's anything I can do here is remind people that we will never tame these things. Tame them, yes. But as we saw with Abel, tame them, never. After a decade or so, we were pretty organized. The 13 original of us were being called by numbers, not names. We knew how to make things work, and if a thing or two vanished inside the factory still, any occasional D-class, what? Yes, we had D-class back then. Disposables. That's where the D comes from. Had, had to have someone to test things on. Tesla and Tamlin were both very firm about that. But yes, sometimes we lost people who didn't matter. Adam, sorry, Dr. Bright was fond of saying it was the factory taking its toll. You can't get something for nothing. 1911 was when it all went wrong. Things, we called them fairies. An entire race of things living beside us. Oh, right. oh, all right, we'll finish that after I die again. Oh, door's already open, which means I'm not the only D-class. Yes. Mm. Let's go this way. Really? Already? Damn, I already found an exit. And that didn't take long. I already found the exit. No. All right, now to find nine one four. What are you guys doing today? That's the key to my SCP. Fuck. 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 I actually killed myself. I mean, I actually put myself to sleep. Alright, time to finish the story then, I guess.
maybe. All right. An entire race of things living beside us. They could look the same as you and I, or I. The only oblivious difference was an allergy to iron. Yes, that's what we call them fairies. No, you haven't heard of them? Why? Because it's one of the time, it's the one time the foundation wiped out the entire race of things. Root and branch. And I'm the one who did it. We've been hunting them for some time. We'd run into them a time or two before come out on top. So when a certain royal asks us for help, of course we are eager to get them in our debt. We've always loved having people in our debt. We sent a team to help out take care of what we thought was a hunting party. The next time we saw them, their heads were on poles, attached to the saddles of, of the creatures that fairies rode when they attacked the factory. It was horrible. Three words, that, but they can face so much. I, I never... Gosh dang it. Oh wait. Damn it. I have to do it. They're going to hate me for it, but I have to do it. Maybe. <laughs> it was still worth it. I don't care. I'm I'm sorry. Please give me a moment. I've never told this part to anyone. You should consider yourself lucky. And if you ever tell any anyone any of what I'm I'm about to impart on you, I will not just kill you, but everyone who shares your DNA in the worst way possible. You'll think Procedure 110 Montauk is a walk in the park compared to what I do to you. We lost. The things came and they destroyed us. Rode over our emplacements, slaughtered our people, shrugged off our weapons like they were nothing. I watched my 13 go down, left and right, just trying to hold the factory. And I? I, their leader, their friend, their father figure, godfather to the right four young children? Confident, sometimes lover, always confessor, I ran. I ran like a scared little schoolboy deep in the dark guts of the factory. I was chased by the things, always just one step ahead. I could hear them behind me, feel their breath upon my neck, and... I came to a door I've never seen before. A bronze door covered in Arabic script of some sort. I've never been one for languages, especially not the curvy bullshit and Muslim men use, but I didn't care. They were coming for me, and I knew the door open and driven through it. Everything inside was different. There was a feeling of peace that nothing could hurt me here. The light was this dark red, but still felt right. My ears were filled with steadily thrumming of gigantic heartbeat, and... In front of me, there were remains of Anderson. It spoke to me then, but I'll be damned if, if I could tell you exactly what it said. What it told me was more meaning than exact. It offered me hope. It told me, it told me that each of the things we'd use from the factory, no matter what we did with them, fed it, helped it grow. But if the fairies took the factory, factory they would destroy it, and we couldn't have that. It offered me a deal. It could remove this event, make it ha have never happened. All I needed to give it was us. I didn't want to do it. I, I knew it was a bad idea, but then I saw them again. My family, my friends, dead. Dead by the hands of those bastards. I agreed. 
It smiled, and I found myself once more upon the ramparts, watching the hordes of fairies crest the hill. I found Dacian alive once more in my hands that was a weapon. I won't bore you with the details, but we slaughtered them. And with these new weapons, continued to slaughter them. Everywhere they lived, everywhere they bred, my fellow Ophias questioned my decision, thinking we could save some, in case we might ever need them. I overruled them. We moved away from the factory, shut it down, moved our things out of there. We changed the name from things to special... What the... The crap? What the crap happened? Okay. That was w weird. It was weird. That was weird. My whole streaming service just refreshed itself. Fuck. Hey, why can't we use that car to burst into the fact to this place? Prepare to die, motherfucker. Resting, it's not closing the damn door. <laughs> you piece of shit. I didn't think that would kill me, to be honest. I didn't think that would kill me. I mean, that works. We moved away from the factory. Shut it down. Moved our things out of there. We changed the name from the things to special containment protocols. Focusing on containing them, not anything else. The others were curious, but understood. I had my reasons. I boarded up the factory, locked it shut, buried it under a ton of rumble, saying it was too dangerous. I thought, thought I'd gotten away with it until I found a thing on my desk. One of the old toy guns that shot real bullets, and it had the factory label on it. I have sent people in from time to time to see what it might be doing. Last time I sent people in to look, there was nothing there. We keep finding factory items out there. I can't help but think of how many more we don't find. The people who use them and keep it hidden. I think back to the body telling me how the, each item used gave energy to the factory. I never asked it energy for what. I don't think I want to know. What do we give it? C-class, mostly. Where did you think all the bodies went? There's a place. Bodies are left, and they vanish. Everyone thinks I'm a genius for figuring it out. Sometimes, sometimes I have to feed it other things. Researchers, agents, they never know what's coming. It just reaches out and takes them. But in the end, we're doing more good by being here. Whatever the factory wants, whatever it is, we're doing good here. 
I have to believe that. And now you know. Are you happy? I didn't think so. Why well, tell you? I'm getting old, Everett. Should I die, someone will have to keep feeding it. Maybe you'll be different. Maybe you'll, f you'll figure out a way to stand up to it. But I doubt it. Wait, what the frick? I have a grenade and I'm not afraid to use it. Not sure if I want... I hope you enjoyed that SCP story, because that'll be the last thing that I read for this stream. And I'll be right back. Holy shit, I did spell intermission wrong. Oh gosh, what the frick? Okay. Alright. I am back. I'm probably gonna die. Oh, this is new. Hello, Larry. Hello, 049. So they didn't open that door yet. Oh, they just went through. 
Okay, just gotta find. Ah, oh, come on! Multiple open doors. Oh, hello. The fuck? Why was I killed? <laughs> I think they fear my power as the food god. But I'm only the food god in Minecraft, not here. This is so entertaining, watching the assholes that killed me. I hate each and every one of them. Okay. It is time to murder each and every one of you assholes. Alright, see you, lazy. Why can't I see anything? Ow.
Hello? Hello? Jesus. Hello? Hello? Okay, there it goes. There goes my voice. I don't know what the crap just happened. I just crashed. Well then. I mean, after that round, I was already going to leave. That's not in stream. I mean, jeez. I mean, you could have waited. Until I did this. Freaking live stream. You crash when I tell you to crash. Jesus. I apologize to anyone watching who saw the crash. I apologize for that. And also, I hope you enjoyed all of the SAP readings that I have done. And hopefully, I'll be able to do them again soon. Well, see you later, D-Class.